Did you ever imagine that just one house, one planet, one position, which is your first house, your lagna, your rising sign, your lagna, Lord, just this one thing can tell you so much about wealth, name, fame, power, position, prosperity, influence, recognition from the horoscope. Just this one thing. I see this mistake which is done always. People ignore the Lagnesh, the Lagna, the Lagna Lord. So therefore, here are 10 indications of massive wealth that you can find just from the Lagna. All right. So the first indication here is not to do with the Lagna. But in general, the Lagna is signified by the number one in numerology, which means if you add up your date of birth, your complete date of birth, you get one. Okay, so this is the destiny number. And if after adding your entire date of birth, you get one, then this means you have a great capacity to be like a king. The great Bollywood star Amitabh Bachchan, his destiny number is one. You can find so many people uh, who have this and they have grand wealth because this gives you exceptional leadership capacity, exceptional confidence, exceptional power position and ability to stay true to your own words and your desires. All right. So if your destiny number is one, you are exceptionally lucky and you will do big things in life. Okay. And that is why you will get massive fame. Now, number two, this is from astrology. If you have a Mahapurush Yoga or a Raj Yoga, now what is a Mahapurush Yoga? If planets uh, Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury, Venus and Mars, if any of these planets are in the Kendra houses, which is the first, fourth, seventh or tenth, in either own sign, Mool Trikon or exaltation, then it's a Mahapurush Yoga. Now, if you have a Mahapurush Yoga in the Lagna and, 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 and the dispositor of the Lagna, okay, which is the Lagna Lord himself is placed in a good sign and in a good house. Okay, so there has to be a Mahapurush Yoga in the Lagna and the Lagna Lord has to be well placed in the chart. If you have this, then you are blessed beyond fortune because you can get a lot of wealth provided the overall chart also supports in it so with this placement so for example if venus is in pisces in the first house so you are a pisces lagna and your venus is in the first house so venus is in the kendra in exaltation so it is giving you mahapurushyo okay but now here you need to check the dispositor which is jupiter if jupiter is well placed then you have massive name fame Number three, if the Lagna Lord, so if you are Pisces Lagna and your Jupiter is connected to either the 10th house or the 11th house, which means either Jupiter is sitting in the 10th house or he's sitting in the 11th house or Jupiter and the Lord of your 10th house or the Lord of your 11th house is sitting somewhere, anywhere, okay? And among all these possibilities, the best yoga is if Jupiter is in the 11th and the 10th Lord is also in the 11th or if Jupiter is in the 10th and the 11th Lord is also in the 10th or if the 10th Lord and the 11th Lord both are conjunct in the first house, okay, or either in the 11th or in the 10th, okay, along with the Lagna Lord. So the more the power of the 10th house and the 11th house comes, the more the name fame because 10th house is the house of name fame and 11th house is the house of gains, all right, then Number four, this is next level. This is even better than number three, which is if the Nakshatra Lord, Nakshatra Lord of the Lagnesh, okay, is connected to either the 10th house or the 11th house. For example, if you are a Pisces Lagna and your Jupiter is the Lord of Lagna, so is your Lagnesh, and Jupiter is in Revati Nakshatra, for example, anywhere, okay, now, of course, if you're Pisces, then uh, Jupiter will be in first house because Revati is completely in Pisces. So now what is happening is Jupiter is giving you Mahapurush Yoga because he's also in Kendra in the first house in own sign. Okay, so 
criteria number two is getting satisfied. But now, if your Mercury, why Mercury? Because Mercury is the Lord of Revati Nakshatra. So if Mercury is sitting either in the 10th or in the 11th, even better if it's in the 11th, then just take it from me in writing. You will have grand wealth in life okay provided the mercury dasha or guru dasha preferably guru dasha comes in your life okay so the nakshatra lord has to be connected or mercury is sitting in the 10th house connect conjunct the 11th lord or mercury is in the 11th conjunct the 10th lord okay if your lagnesh is in revati so now here you see i'm trying to combine things so suppose if your destiny is all number is one and then you are pisces lagna your guru is in lagna so number two is satisfied okay and here for pisces what is happening is your 10th lord is also jupiter so your 10th lord and lagna they are also connected so now in this case all the four conditions are satisfied okay provided mercury is also connected to uh, either sagittarius or capricorn because sagittarius and capricorn they are the 10th in the 11th signs okay in the houses number five if the Lagna Lord of D1 is either exalted or it is in Dik Bali in the D10 chart, in the Dashamsha chart, okay. So, for example, if your Lagna is Pisces in the D1 chart, now Pisces Lagna Lord, as you know, is Jupiter. Now, in your D10 chart, whichever ascendant you are, if Jupiter is in cancer which means it is exalted or he is also in the first house of the d10 okay then this is great because now it is showing that your leadership capacities are reflected in the dashamsha chart which is the chart of profession therefore this can give you great wealth because jupiter is Digbali in the first house, okay? Or he can be anywhere in Cancer, as I said, and this will hold true for other planets also. So if you have this placement, focus on getting administrative and leadership roles. You will do very good in them, all right? Number six, the Lagna Lord is powerfully placed in a Kendra with support of the Lord of Trines, okay? What does this mean? See, the Trines give you luck and uh, guidance, and talent so the fifth house gives you talent and the ninth house gives you luck it gives you luck through the support and guidance from people who are more experienced than you okay so for example if the lagna lord is in a kendra okay but the fifth lord or the ninth lord is also conjunct or the fifth or the ninth is aspecting so then what happens is you can do big things in life but you also have the support so it's like saying you all you, you you want to be a singer and the talent is already there in you and somebody from the top is also guiding you okay so then massive wealth is inevitable if this happens all right <laughs> number seven if there is a parivartan yoga in the between the lords of the second and the eleventh Parivartan yoga means when planets are sitting in each other's houses, okay? So, for example, if uh, the second lord is in the 11th and the 11th lord is in the second, along with that, the lagna lord is connected, okay? So, for example, if the, lag if the lagnesh is in second and the 11th lord is also in second and the second lord is in 11th, so the 211 parivartan is there or the 211 Parivartan is there and Lagnesh is not in second, but he's in the 11th. So if Lagna Lord is taking part in the Parivartan Yoga of the second and the 11th, so then what happens is you gain wealth and you keep it and you multiply it. Okay, so this is great for long-term investing. Okay, great for earning money, passive income and also long-term investing. Okay, then number eight, the Atma Karaka connected to the Lagna Lord. Now, why is this a conjunction for wealth because the reason is the atma karaka shows your soul purpose okay your desires at a soul level and what does the lagna lord show the lagna lord shows your focus so this means you are focused towards working on your desires okay which is like 
a bare minimum a basic recipe for great wealth now this this uh, yoga or placement should be supported by other things in the horoscope so this is not literally a, a combination for wealth but this is a very big prerequisite and with this yoga even if you have a decent chart okay decent horoscope with decent good placements for wealth you will become massively wealthy because you have real laser sharp focus with this yoga you know what you want and you know what to do in life all right now unless your trines are very badly afflicted then you may also be confused but this yoga can give you a lot of support in life through your own hard work and your own free will all right so use this yoga properly if you have number nine the lagna lord is connected to the 10th lord of the d12 chart not d9 not d10 not d4 not d16 d12 chart see the lagna lord of your d1 if it's connected to the 10th lord of the d10 of the d12 sorry so what is the detail d12 is the dwada shamsha chart okay that is the chart which shows some karmic repercussions which you might have with your ancestors or through your ancestors now if the lagna lord of d1 is related to the 10th lord so for example if again if you're a pisces lagna in your uh, d1 chart and jupiter is your lagnesh and jupiter is in the 10th house of the d12 chart or he's uh, sitting anywhere with the lord of the 10th house of the d10 then it means that through the karma of your ancestors either good or bad whatever it could be you are getting name fame so that could be a prerequisite to be born in a good family okay of course there are thousand other things which you can see but if this is there you can do very good in some family business or through contacts of your family okay so therefore if you have this placement utilize your family resources not only money all right and last but not the least if your destiny number is five which means you add your entire date of birth again like we did in criteria one but now it is not one it is five so if your destiny number is five and your lagna lord is conjunct with mercury then you are always successful because you are thinking of money all the time <laughs> all right so destiny five people mostly thinking of money but if the lagnesh is also conjunct mercury anywhere in the chart then the person is not only thinking he or she is also working towards earning money and if there are supportive dashas and in the 10th house 11th house if these houses are strong and the lagnesh and mercury are conjunct in a good dignity then oh boy wealth is it, it's it's just time is separating whenever a good dasha comes with this thing uh with destiny five and lagnesh with mercury wealth just flows off <laughs> because you are you know how to do it you are just waiting for the right opportunity so when a good dasha comes it's just a matter of time all right but if the good dasha does not come unfortunately you will still get wealth in the antar dashas only okay so you will have nominal success uh, good success but not grand success so good dashas are required with this all right so thank you very much and if you like this video hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know about the lagna and wealth and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and for consultations you can find my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him